Oh there, Beer Guy Reviews. My name is Geek. I'm here from downtown Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. Today we're going to be looking at some booze. So, this bottle was brought to me from my dad on his vacation. This is Ron Santero. Santero Palma Superior. Destilado y embotellado in Cuba. An Sancti Spiritus Original de Cuba. Casa fundada on 1844. Republica de Cuba. Cero de Garantia. Cuban government's warranty for Cuban rum. Uh, ABV 38% alcohol by volume. Now, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this on camera or how I present it, but the stem on top of the bottle is actually crooked. Anyway. I can't really read what's on the back or translate, so let's take a look at the label. Now obviously I had uh, drank some of this bottle before in mixes, but this would be the first time I would try it straight up review style. cap, high class, flow, moderator. Uh, this is a tasting glass that was bought to me by my father as well as a gift. Thanks dad. Bose, get the tractor. It's the first time I show this so that's why I'm taking my time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome taster glass. Uh, I wouldn't say yellow. More on the orange hue side. A hey, golden through the light. Oh, it looks, looks nice through the light. Okay, so let's give it a smell. Even though it's, uh, well, yeah, obviously you're going to smell the uh, alcohol, but. You can actually smell it. Vanilla. Sweet. Uh, I'd say grainy smell, but. Orangey, sweet. It's mostly like vanilla and orange. A bit of lemony zest there. As far as smell the goes, that's all I'm getting. Let's give it a try. As 
far as the taste goes, hmm. it's more of a wet orange candy esque. The vanilla comes at the end as it was in the smell. There's a bit of alcohol burn, but I sort of cheated. I used the uh, trick I saw in the three sheets. Uh, I'm not sure it was bourbon or scotch class. What do you do? You just hold whatever you're drinking on your tongue for a while. Slowly uh, drink it and the alcohol basically sort of dissipates so you're going to get nothing but the taste. But you got to exhale through your nose while you're holding it in your mouth there. So the alcohol burn only got at the end. Very, very end. So if you take it as a shot, it's going to burn way faster or you're going to miss out on the taste. Yeah, slight corn taste on the upper palate. But the corn of the orange almost gives out like caramel taste, so it's not too bad. So if you take, take your time, you're not going to get the alcohol burned barely. Yes, see, I did, as a, did it as a shot. It's a way different experience. But the vanilla, oddly enough, comes out more if you do it straight and fast. If you don't take your time. I did it as a mix. Uh, from what I remember, vanilla is more predominant. Coke or ginger ale, really good. Uh, very versatile uh, mixer I would almost say it had a, like an artificial oaky taste but right afterwards you're just getting that corn aftertaste it's kind of turn off there but As is what it is, uh, as a straight drink, yeah, 6.3 out of 10. As a uh, mixer, if you're going to put it with the pop, I would give it a uh, 8 out of 10. So, cheers and uh, double thanks to that. Cheers. Bye. Reviews. My name is Guy, coming to you from downtown Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. Take a look at bit today, 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 today,